it, folks. I have to do this. It's going to be kind of rare because uh, never do I just simply read through an article and make that the majority of what I'm going to share. But that's exactly what I'm going to do here because uh, what you're about to hear is absolutely reprehensible. And then I have a picture that I'm going to show you. And I really, really, really want you to just take inventory of the picture because it's going to prove a powerful point. So bear with me. Now, the title of this article is uh, President Biden pledges to codify Roe with bill that goes far beyond Roe. Now, I have so much to say about that, but I'm going to let Jonathan Turley say this of Zero Hedge. He says this. He says, in what was billed as a major address yesterday by the White House, President Joe Biden declared that if the Democrats prevail in the midterm elections, and here's his quote, here's the promise I make to you and the American people. The first bill I will send to the Congress will be to codify Roe v. Wade, and when Congress passes it, I'll sign it in January, 50 years after Roe was first decided uh, the law of the land. That's a very disagreeable quote, but anyway, we'll leave that be. The author goes on to write, as previously discussed, the bill being referenced by President by the president and Democrats is not a codification of Roe v. Wade, but rather a significant expansion of the precedent, which I believe is right. The precedent, by the way, is garbage, but that's a whole other story. Biden also returned uh, to his claim that the right can be based entirely on the Ninth Amendment, which is baloney, by the way. Now, the Women's Health Protection Act is routinely described as the media or in the media as a codification of Roe, repeating the false claim by the White House and many Democratic sponsors. It is, in fact, what many pro-choice advocates, I like to call them pro-murder advocates, have always wanted Roe to be, but have been unsuccessful in establishing through the court system. The Democrats could have simply sought the codification of Roe, but instead loaded the WHPA with a wish list of pro-murder provisions. The WHPA would dramatically expand Roe in its successor case, Planned Parenthood of Southeastern Pennsylvania v. Casey. This was the Casey case that we've been talking about a lot. It seeks to accomplish legislatively what could not be accomplished judicially for debt it for debt. It, for decades. Oh my goodness. Sleep deprivation. I have said it before and I'll say it again. Planned Parenthood has targeted minorities from the very beginning. The founder, Margaret Sanger, said that it would be her hope to eliminate the black race by the use of abortion. Now I'm going to show you a picture of the president actually giving the speech that this article talked about. And I think it's very important that we pay attention to it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take my picture out of it entirely. Oh, actually, I think I have to keep it in because of fair use. But let me just throw this in. Pay attention to this. Now, as you're looking at this, I want to ask you a question. Are there any white people in this photo besides Joe Biden? Do, 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 do. No, there aren't. I rest my case. 